Murray, and I am sitting next to Bluebeard, who is absolutely wonderful. Oh, and thank you, darling. Really. <laughs> I was going for wonderful. I bet you are. Uh, sure. I have a couple of questions, if you don't mind me asking. Nope. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, we're a size 10, so... Oh, okay. A little about myself, then. This is my shoe size. Where did you grow up? Well, uh, what actually, do you do? Um, I've moved around a lot, so I really haven't had the time to grow up yet. So I'm still working on that one. <laughs> but, uh, no! I was born on the banks of the Detroit River to a unicorn and a mermaid, so that was nice. Okay. So naturally, that's my affiliation, uh, affiliation with giraffes, which are <laughs> mythical creatures, but they're really cool. Um, and then, uh, you know, I lived on boats all my life, near the East Coast in the Midwest, and, uh, yeah. So, then I got into acting because I was trying to impress a girl. Of course. So, yes, and because I'm, I'm an artist, I draw pictures. Um, uh, had a buddy of mine in high school say, you should take humanities when you're in high school. I said, what's humanities? He said, just take it. I said, okay, and I took it. It was all about <laughs> arts, and I was like, oh, it's like music and art and crap. But I really loved it, and then I, I was all excited about it, and some girl who I kind of liked went, you should be on a musical with us, and I was like, yeah, okay. this girl wants me to do something with her. And then I did, and then I, uh, strangely, I'm still being an actor and a performer, and I'm traveling the world doing it now, so yeah. it's kind of nice. And uh, yeah, and then I became uh, an interior designer by mistake. <laughs> How did that mistake occur? <laughs> well, because I'm an artist, uh, my sister said, hey, can you do a mural in my house? I said, of course I can! What's a mural? <laughs> so I did that, and then I ended up doing it for like other daycare centers and business places and whatnot. And then, okay. So I became this mural artist by mistake. Uh, and then I got a, a back injury at a factory job uh, making bullets. No, it was cardboard boxes, but the other story was better. And then, uh, so I, yeah, exactly. So I got, I got a free two-year degree, and I was like, what do I want a three-year degree in? Interior design. Sure, why not? <laughs> well, because when I do the murals, it turned into, hey, this is a great painting. What do I do with the room? And I'm like, well, you want to put the couch under it, because if you put something in front of it, it won't balance, and you want to make sure the traffic flow. What am I talking about? So, uh, <laughs> so I got a degree in interior design okay. to go with the murals, and that it just worked. Sense. So there was that going on, and then while I was in school for, for interior design and recovering from a back injury, I was an artist at about six or seven conventions and whatnot. Oh, all wow. over the place. Like Gen Con and, you know. Eddie uh, Gen Con. Eddie Gen Con. And Wizard World and a couple of Comic Cons and New York and Texas and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, so then I would be a persona of some weird dude wearing a kilt and a pointed hat, mm -hmm. standing at my booth selling art because I was not one of the artists to sit there quietly and draw pictures and just wait for people to talk to me because I'm afraid. You had to get attention. I had to get attention. I'm not really good at quiet. Maybe you've noticed. <laughs> so, I, so I became like Pirate Man, standing on chairs going, look at my art, and then a lot of my art sold, and I don't even know if it's because the art was good. But people were excited. People liked you. Yes, exactly. And then I got the question, you know, why aren't you doing this on stage? And why aren't I doing this on stage? So I did. Uh, <laughs> so I do the conventions as an artist by day, and then I had a show at night. It was wonderful. Okay. And 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 then I was still wondering. Uh, and I'm in school to be interior designer. Okay. But uh, got I'm not through just all that. A day job. Yeah, yeah. I got through that. I got through school. And then I needed some work, and then of course, as soon as I got out of school, the housing industry went <laughs> So not a lot of want for interior designers when nobody has a house. So that was embarrassing. So uh, trying to be a pirate interior designer also didn't work. Oh no, uh, it does. Not? It does now. Oh, it does now? Yeah. And then uh, ended up with a job on a ship. On a real ship, yes. Ooh. Because I walked by one day and said, do you guys need a sailor? And they said, maybe. <laughs> Because I was wearing a purple shirt with a blue metallic tie, and I looked like a weird yeah. entertainer. I looked like an MC for Vegas, <laughs> but that's because I was trying to get a job somewhere. So they they Is hired he interviewing? me. Yes, exactly. So I was I was already a pirate, and the, the captain goes, "Well, yeah, we need deck cans, but what we need is someone to play a pirate." No, I am good at that. I'm your man. So uh, so I worked on the tall ship Windy for for five years as okay. as a senior deck hand. Uh, and a pirate. And a pirate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and after a while I just refused to wear the, uh, the polo shirt like we do as, a, as sailors. Yeah. And I was like, this is ridiculous, I'm not wearing a polo shirt, so I'd wear this, waiting for the captain to call me out. And finally he goes, hey, I want you to know, we love this, uh, 
Don't stop. <laughs> so it didn't work. Well, all right then. So, I, so then I was a sailor, and then I was trying to get interior design, and and then I became a figure model at about six art schools. So you can see where this all comes together. Yeah. I don't. No. Nope. But thank you. <laughs> yes. No, it makes sense. You're it, an artist. Sure. You have to do many things. Yeah. No, money. I got that job because a friend of mine goes, "Hey, I'm a figure model at the Art Institute of Chicago." I'm like, "Great." She goes, "You want to?" I said, "Yes." What so do I, I did do? that. <laughs> yeah. Now you just stand there. So I've been I've been a model for seven years, a sailor for all my life, and. Uh, <laughs> And then I moved to a different ship called the Red Witch out of Burnham Harbor in Chicago. Okay. And so I'm sailing on that one now. And uh, so every now still and then, pirate? I'm still a pirate. Yeah. Strangely, I, every now and then I do put on the hat and go out in public. Oh. But uh, and then I and then and from all that pirating, I developed a comedy show mm -hmm. where I do interviewing processes. Oh, so okay. my yes, yeah, so my club show that I take on the road is uh, is a late night improv comedy talk show. And that's so I grab people now. out of the audience and I go, so tell me about yourself. And you go, oh, I am an interviewer. I'm like, that's fantastic. So when did you learn to fly? And it, you know, it's improv. <laughs> yep. And I just keep it going very fast. And because Bluebeard, myself, not the real me, um, I speak very fast. So <laughs> yes. I just keep it moving. And, and it gets just wonderfully ridiculous. Yes. To have and random I people out of the audience suddenly become a movie star by telling me that they're an accountant. <laughs> That's wonderful! And, uh, you know. How did you get into yeah, exactly. And I'll bring people up on stage going, Does anyone here play the piano? And then I'll have a woman, Oh, yeah, me. Like, Can you just stand over here and pretend to play the piano? Because I need a, a musical accompaniment. And she'll stand over there going, clink, 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 clink. And so I, it's, I mean, the show becomes so wonderfully ridiculous. Okay. And I want everyone to be so happy. So this person is making people laugh. This guy is making people excited because his boring job now sounds really cool. And then at the end of the show, I have a certificate that says you're ready to be a pirate. And I <laughs> put their name on it and I sign it and like... So you get people to become pirates? Yes. I recruit people to be pirates. So how big is your pirate crew now then? Huge! Uh, God. So, <laughs> Bluebeard was born in 2003. <laughs> of course. Yes. Uh, so, I would probably say just about everyone on the planet. Okay. By the end of fall. That sounds so, good. So, yeah. Me and you. Already related. Got it. Yeah. Sounds good. Sorry. So where do you do these shows of yours nowadays? Then? Oh man, um, I have a Renaissance Fair show that I do at Renaissance Fairs, and I do those at like Bristol, Wisconsin, or mm -hmm. yeah, the Bristol Renaissance Fair, and uh, Southern California is coming up. A whole bunch in the Midwest, okay. in Northern Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. Yep. Um, and then my club show I tend to do in a couple of clubs in Chicago okay. and then conventions. You can't really do a club show at a Renaissance Fair. No, you really can't. So, you, but, so at the Renaissance Fairs, it's all standing up and on stage, and you're recruiting people to be pirates by saying, put on this hat, put on this dress, do a pirate dance. You're a pirate. Yes, exactly. And then they get a modified certificate for that. But they go home with something in their hand, Which not just the photographs that their mom took of them doing something stupid in public. <laughs> so, you embarrass them for life. So, yeah. So then uh, I, I did this show here on the Queen Mary with uh, Her Royal Majesty's Steampunk Symposium. And uh, they're like, well, what do you do? I was like, well, I do a comedy show, but I can do anything. So skipped ahead to this is the third year. I'm now emceeing, doing my show, hosting, refereeing, really anything. Anything they ask you to. Yes, because I can do anything. Because I'm course. like a super horse. You're a pirate. I am a and pirate. Pirates do everything. I know. <laughs> it's not like that song sung by the green things, the people. But yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> The green pe the veggie tail people is now the green people. Apparently. Oh. So yeah, I do this pretty much everywhere. People will go, hey, we need a really obnoxiously loud pirate. Like I know a guy. It's me. <laughs> Hire me. Call me. So uh, so yeah, I just I'm, I kind of go everywhere. I'm right now out of Chicago. Okay. But having moved around a lot in my life, it's it's a really weird question when people are like, so where are you from? A lot of places. Yeah, and then I feel like the Highlander. Lots of different places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it as a Scotsman with a French accent. Whoops. Yes. If you know anything about the Highlander movies, it's how Oh, I hear. Okay, good. Oh. Let's talk about that instead. <laughs> Not right now. Nothing. Later. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. Yes. Do you have any big upcoming projects? Oh, man. We have, uh, the Bluebeard comic book is coming out. Ooh. Yes. It's, uh, while it does have me as the character. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's set in the, uh, how do we say this? The golden age of piracy meets the golden age of funk. Okay. So it's, uh, it's piracy 
with 70s influences. So he has an 8-track player on the helm of his ship, and he listens to a lot of funk and kiss, and uh, he's an interior designer. Okay, so who is coming up with that comment? Uh, me. You? Yes, and my team uh, at, at Octopus Royalty were putting that together. Okay. So I came up with the story and, and the illustrations as kind of a joke. Oh, really? uh, I was at a Comic Con and I was bored, so I started drawing a comic book goofy version of me. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh, it's Bluebeard. And somebody went, what does he do? And I'm like, oh, he's on this ship. So I drew a big giant ship. And they're like, what's the ship called? And I was like, the Mighty Mighty. You know, and I'm all excited about Motown, and, and I don't know what I was doing. Uh, but, Having fun. But the storyline just kind of blossomed from there. And I was like, yes, he, he rips aboard ships and tears them apart and then redesigns them and then leaves before anyone knows he was there. So he's an interior designer, pirate. Awesome. Yeah, so then uh, every now and then he steals ships, redesigns them, makes them pretty, and then sells them for a pen. You know, so it's, it's just a goofy... It's fun. Yes, it's just wonderfully goofy. And then, uh, you know, I did this for fun, thinking oh, I'll do something with it later. So I put on the back burner, and then uh, Octopus, my, my team got together. What if we color this and make it really tight? So right now we're coloring it, okay. and uh, my colorist, uh, Lady G, uh, made the pictures look better than the drawings the first time I drew them. So okay. we were like, oh my god, we gotta put this out here. So hopefully in the next, within the next year we'll have that out. Oh, very cool. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a web, uh, a web series for a while, and then we're gonna probably print one up and go from there. Okay. So, yeah. Wonderful.